It's true. I might have tried to kill them this last time, but I never got a chance. He broke things off with Monica, and the next thing I heard, he was dead. But you signed out early out of the hospital the night that Rick died. Yeah, I drove to the Scorpio house. I followed Monica. <laughs> but before I could even get out of the car, your mother showed up and she, she went up to the attic. I assumed she was going to find Rick there waiting for Monica. But then, there's so many people there, I just drove away. Oh, that is a lame alibi. If you killed Rick and freed my mother, why wouldn't you be lying to me right now? Is there something that we can do to stimulate Lorenzo's memory? Mr. Alcazar is recovering from a brain injury. But we're pushing. More likely, he'll become disoriented. There must be something you can do for him. I certainly intend on trying. This patient deserves better than a doctor who won't stick around to see if he survived. From now on, Mr. Alcazar's treatment is under my direction. Well, then you need to try to listen and understand. Lorenzo has to remember. We're running out of time. I understand you're to blame for what's going on at that Metro Court. I don't know what you mean. Your associates or whoever you call your thugs have taken my daughter and my nephew as hostages, along with other people that I care about. So you tell me, what will it take to get those hostages released? Uh, Stone Cold, I, okay, I did what you asked. I, I, I got a layout of the hotel right here. All right, that's good work. What are the points of entry? Uh, well, there are many. Unfortunately, they're all locked. Oh, that's okay. I got a passkey oh, right here. You can see that's also a problem. See, if you if you use the passkey, it'll show up on the security monitor in the lobby desk. If one of the bad guys is paying attention... They're gonna know I'm inside. Right. Okay. We need to find a way to override the security monitor. Yeah, okay, but it's but, a but close... Look, you're the jackal, right? Prove to me you're as good as you say you are. Get me inside without them knowing. Tick, 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 tick. Right. Right, we... ah. So, slow down. We need to see the complete list. Put the stuff there. Thank you. We have clean sheets, towels, sponges, rubber gloves, safety goggles, and my personal favorite, duct tape. And, uh, Hold on, where, where's the monofilament line? Oh, you only have ten seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wow. Wow. I'm impressed. For the moment, Nicholas lives. See how fast you jumped to get to get your man? I mean, I think that there's more here that needs the eye, don't you think, Emily? I just don't want to see a good man die. Huh. You don't strike me as being the altruistic type. Give them the supplies. Thank you. Get the doctor on. Mm -hmm. Patrick! I'm here. Let's get the party started. If you say anything that doesn't relate to the surgery, pow pow. Tired you for ready. Okay. Emily, just take a deep breath. Now this is just like med school, only with a real person and none of the right equipment. We got everything you said. Carly's laying out the instruments right now. We moved Robin on the sheet. Her pulse is weak but steady, but her abdomen is firmer than before. Okay, then we need to get started. Okay, you need to trace the path of the bullet through Robin's abdomen with your finger. 